Um, hi everyone, um, I'm Caitlin Hetherington. Um, I'm a fourth year PhD student in computational chemistry at Stony Brook University in New York. I'm very interested in solving environmental issues and my current research consists of um, applying GPU accelerated uh, quantum chemistry calculations to model what happens when light shines on materials that are used in uh, solar cells. However, this summer I had the opportunity to do an internship at LBL um, to learn a new method that I'd never used before, and that was machine learning, and that's what I'll be talking to you a bit about today. Um, so my summer project involved what we call lanthanides, which are rare earth metals um, that are important for use in clean energy technologies such as solar cells. And you can see here are just some examples. Um, and these lanthanides are really more in demand than ever before. However, since their properties um, of each of the lanthanides are very similar, separation from one another is very challenging. And the extraction process often consists of attaching ligands to the metal, as I'm showing here, and it's largely dependent on trial and error. And so the question is really, um, which ligands are most suitable for this extraction? Um, we therefore need a powerful method to speed up the prediction of, um, of these suitable ligands. And even though quantum chemistry methods can be used, achieving a good prediction with high accuracy is both time consuming and computationally expensive. In this work, we have built an efficient machine learning model that can both quickly and accurately predict the properties of these lanthanide ligand complexes, even with quite a small data set. So to build the model, we first need to generate the data, which is, it means we're just, we just need to build these um, lanthanide ligand complexes as shown here. And we do this by running quantum chemistry calculations at two different levels of theory. One of the methods um, is very fast, but it's somewhat inaccurate. And then the other method is a lot slower, but it's a lot more accurate. And most of these calculations were done using NERSC resources. And this really enabled us to run um, this very large number of calculations, as well as um, calculations that are um, relatively computationally expensive. Um, so this really is a very important step um, and because this is what's going to be able to make the model um, be able to make accurate predictions. So we then use uh, the geometry of these generated complexes as input for the machine learning model. And I won't go into any details about the machine learning model itself, but definitely feel free to email me if you have any questions about that. And as for the results, as you can see on this um, graph here, um, we were able to achieve a good correlation uh, between the ground truth, which is just our quantum chemistry calculations that we ran with the most um, accurate method and our predicted machine learning values. And you can see that this graph shows the test sets results. Um, and this is for a data set of uh, uh, 1,551 uh, complexes, which is a relatively small data set. So this is really promising for um, high throughput screening computations. And with further optimization, um, this model really has the potential to accelerate the discovery of suitable ligands for rare earth metal separation. So finally, um, we are currently uh, still working on this project and going forward, we definitely plan to make the most of um, NERSC resources to increase both our data set size and also our data set diversity um, by generating uh, new lanthanide ligand complexes. So thank you very much for listening and please feel free to email me um, if you have any questions.